Hi everybody, I hope you're all safe and well. Here we are, another week of lockdown. So I thought I'd put another little video together for you uh, involving some more Pilates exercises. Uh, this time I thought I would involve your favorite piece of equipment, your favorite little toy, the Tony Circle, the Pilates Circle, the Magic Circle, whichever you want to call it. So I'm going to take you through a few little leg exercises today involving this. And as always, with all the Pilates exercises, you can mix the videos, you can take exercise from one video to the next, put them together, and then you've got your own little Pilates workout session. Follow these as I do them, of course. Um, so I'm gonna try and do them in real time for you, rep by rep. So we're gonna start off with the sideline toning circle leg series. Okay, and for obviously, grab a hold of your circle, lay yourself down onto your left hand side. This of course is following on from a warm up, our usual warm up involving roll downs, crossover roll downs, spine curls, cat spine, and of course hip rolls. Not only do you put hip rolls at the end, but of course you can do the hip rolls at the start just to get everything loosened up and ready to move. So grab a hold of your toning circle, lay yourself down on your left hand side. Ideally, you're gonna be in a straight line, so the left arm is gonna be lengthened away alongside the ear, cushion or two, as always, between arm and head to keep the spine straight. I'm just gonna have my head propped up through this while I'm talking to you. Take your time with the tone of circle. It takes a little bit of um, a playing around with the circle to get the circle in the correct position. But we're gonna have this pad over pad, and then we're simply gonna place the right leg just over uh, in front of the ankle bone, okay, on top of the circle, left leg in what I call chair position. So flexed at the hip joint, flexed at the knee joint, and a little bit of flexion at the ankle joint, okay, toes to shin. So we lay ourselves down. Okay, as I say, I'm just gonna prop my head up. All right, now from here, we're gonna try and make sure that the leg is in line with the spine. The toes are pulled up to the shin. Okay, and then we're simply gonna use the inner thigh muscles here of the right leg, tight through the core, the zip, the hollow. As you breathe out, we're gonna squash the circle as much as you can, breathing in and control the movement back up again. Okay, so breathing out, squash, breathing in for two. Three. Controlling the upward movement for four. And five, keeping the core nice and strong. Breathing out, six. You can see my leg is bouncing somewhat. We're trying to minimize this sort of thing going on, particularly as the leg comes up. Breathing out. A couple more of these. And, and we'll do one more for good measure, of course. Breathing out, give it a good old squash, and gently release. From the squash, we're gonna to go to the stretch. So we now place the lower leg inside the circle, trapping the pad on the floor. We take the top leg and place it inside. Breathing out, this time we're stretching, we're working down the outer thigh into your glutes, Breathe in, release, but don't lose contact of the top pad. Breathing out, and that's it, stretch. You can see me wobbling there a little bit. So of course, as always, your head will be down here. Breathing out. The bottom leg is trapping the circle on the floor, so this isn't happening. There we go, a bit of a wobble. So try to keep hip over hip, of course. Tummy nice and tight. Breathing out, stretch. And stretch. Stretch, and one or two more. Stretch, and then from there, we're gonna use the inner thigh muscles of the lower leg now. We take that top leg, place it back on top of the circle. So we're now trapping the circle with the top leg. Inner thigh muscles of the lower leg, breathe out pointed toes and lift. Breathe in and down. Breathing out, lift, tummy tight and down. Two, three, four, five, six, hip over hip, seven, toes pointed, 
eight, nine, and 10. And then we place both legs inside, left leg in this case trapping the bottom pad, right leg trapping the top pad, stretch and lift. One, two, three, and the arm down here of course, four, breathing out, stretch and lift, five, and stretch and lift, six, bit of a wobble there, seven, you can of course have your hand here, eight if you want to stop the wobbles, nine, and stretch and hold that for ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and down we go. And of course, you change sides and do exactly the same on the other side. But as you can see, my space is limited. So you can obviously start this video again, do exactly the same on your right hand side. Now, from there, we'll take it into spine curl with a stretch and a squeeze. We'll start off with the stretch. So your legs will go inside the circle, have the contour of the pad around the contour of your legs, a couple of inches or so just above the knee joint. Okay, you lay yourselves down into your relaxation position and we'll give the circle a really good stretch. Okay, keeping the stretch, breathing in, tummy tight, breathing out, up goes the tailbone, peeling the spine and right up to the shoulders. Breathe in there, breathe out. Rolling down, breathe in, five more. Two. Stretch in the circle, tailbone up. Three. Four. Tailbone up. Five, and up goes that tailbow for the sixth one, and we're gonna stay at the top of the spine curl here, and let's pulse the circle for one, for two, for three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Hold the stretch for 10, nine, eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, one. Down we go, continuing to hold the stretch. Tummy's toe nice and tight. Back to neutral. We take the legs out of the circle and we place the circle in between the legs, roughly a similar position to the kneecap, just obviously inside the legs this time. And we're gonna squeeze. We're gonna have a, give it a good old squeeze. Try and break the circle, okay? Try and keep the pads together if you can. And we're gonna do the same thing again. Tailbone up. Tailbone coming back down via the spine. We're trying to keep the squeeze in that circle. Trying to keep the pads together. If you can, don't panic if you can't. Just try and squeeze it as much as you can. Three, you a good old squeeze through your bottom. And four, rolling back down through the spine. For five. And up we go for number six. We're gonna hold it up there. We're gonna pulse the circle now. Squeeze, one, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We hold that squeeze for ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and down we come. Back to neutral. And we gently take the circle out. Now if you want to take it a step further then by all means do so we go back to the stretch. Now some of you have done this before in class okay 
we're gonna go up into spine curl and we're gonna have five leg extensions with each leg. Up goes the tailbone. We're now stretching, let me just adjust this. We're stretching the circle up to the shoulders. We really want a good stretch in this circle now. Really, really good stretch and extend. One, arms nice and light. Two, three, four, and five. And of course, changing sides. One, two, three, four, five. Feet down, roll the spine down, take your legs out of the circle, and then we take it back to the squeeze. Now in this one, you must make sure that your pads are nice and square. If they're at any kind of angle, or they're not square, and you come up into the spine curl, the chances are the circle is gonna ping out. Okay, so a nice strong grip, closing those pads in together, keeping them square, up into the spine curl, one, two, three, four, five, and away we go. One, squeeze, two, three, four, and five, and rolling down and back to neutral. And we take the circle away. And I'm very relieved that, that actually went according to plan because I would have had to start this video all over again. So there we go. There's a few exercises there with the toning circle. You can take it a stage further again if you wish, you don't have to, but with those leg extensions, let's say for example, you go for the stretching option. It's a slightly easier version of the squeeze. You can come up into your spine curl, into your leg extension, and then you can go back into your spine curl about five times to each leg, yeah? And then you have the added option, of course, to make it a little bit more interesting, is keeping there. So the leg extension and the arms up to the ceiling, if you so wish to do so, it's not compulsory, it is quite a challenge, and I don't even imagine, or I suggest, three or four reps to either side. So a few exercises there with the Glorious Tony Circle. Have fun with it, enjoy it, add it to some more exercises that you've done in the past that you know of, and uh, take very, very good care of everybody. And for me and good old Paddington here, who's kept me company throughout, stay safe, stay well, and I look forward to seeing you all sometime soon. Bye-bye for now.